Jesus says, a new commandment. What did he just do? He said, I'm going to tell you something that overrules and overrides all the other ones. I'm about to tell you something that means you don't have to keep the Ten Commandments anymore. Do you ever think about that? A new commandment I give you. And he's telling them the old ones are gone because of the new one. Why? Because if I keep the new one, it keeps all the old ten. If I keep the commandment he's about to give me, then it keeps everything else that was given to us in the, new, in the Old Testament. But he couldn't do it in the Old Testament because they weren't born again and they didn't have the capacity to operate as a child of God. All they could do was obey. The new command completely encompasses all the other ones. If I love you, I won't steal from you. If I love you, I won't lie to you. If I love you, I won't murder you. If I love you, I won't commit adultery. Love is the master law. We talked about that last weekend. The only way, listen to this, the only way that we can do this is to choose to love with his love in us. It's as we make that choice to walk in love that God begins, God's love begins to work in us. Until we make the choice, we will still love the natural human way, which is based on how you treat me. The way you treat me is the way I'll love you. Now, I'm going to mess you up here a little bit. God's love is not based on the actions, the response, or the behavior of the recipient. Just hold on. Keep breathing here because I'm going to dig. This is, we're going to throw some of you in a hole this morning. I know because he throws me in the hole and then I get up and throw you in the hole. Thankfully, he always gives me the ladder to get out so we don't stay in the hole. God's love is not based on the actions, the response, or the behavior of the recipient. It is an unfathomable and intense desire to see his glorious plan, that which is best for them, unfold in their life. Let's go a little deeper. Go with me to John 17. So the love of God is not based on any actions of the person that it's projected towards. John 17, verse 22 and 23. Jesus speaking, same night. This is his prayer. <clears throat> Father, he's speaking to the Father. And the glory which you gave me, I have given them that they may be one just as we are one. I in them and you in me that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that you have sent me and you have loved them as you have loved me. What? The Father loves us as much as he loves Jesus? No. That, that's that's got to be added by the translators, right? Right? Like, how can that be? That, does, that can't be. Jesus was perfect. Jesus never did anything wrong. Jesus completely fulfilled the plan and the will of God for his life. It's obvious God loves Jesus more than he loves us. Except his word says not, that that's not right. His word says that he loves you as much as he loves Jesus. Uh, let me just mess you up. Just start saying that every day for the next two weeks. God loves me as much as he loves Jesus. And your brain will go, no, he doesn't. Your brain will reject that. I know. I've been saying it for 30 years. And my brain still goes, yeah, but what about this? Yeah, but what about when you do this? What about when you do this? God's love is not based on the actions of the recipient. That's right. Okay. So does God still love Satan? <laughs> gotcha! 